Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Starting off our new NCAA series here. We are in NCAA 2005, just wrapped up our 2004 series with the Buffalo Bulls. If you haven't seen it already, make sure to check it out. Got a whole playlist over on my channel. So for this series, I'm thinking in the 2005 version, we're going to start with the Baylor Bears. And the one challenge I want to do for this series is we can only recruit prospects within our state. We will give ourselves two out-of-state prospects per season, but other than the two out-of-state guys, everyone else has to come from within the state. We will probably be moving around on teams, so we can make it a little bit more challenging if we go to a smaller school in a smaller state, but I figured Baylor's probably a good starting point. It's only a two-star school. We are in Texas, so we should be able to recruit a decent amount. So let's jump into it here. The two out-of-state prospects will come in handy as well, I think, if we have anyone who really wants to come here who's not within the state of Texas. But yeah, I've never done something like this before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's get into, yeah, let's go preseason options. We'll look at our lineup first here. So QB-wise, what do we got? We got a senior who's an 82. We've got a junior at 80. A sophomore and a freshman at a 56. Okay, so we're pretty deep at QB. We'll be okay for a couple years, I think. Uh, running backs, we got what? Two seniors up here and a sophomore, so we might need some help there. Uh, should we redshirt the sophomore here? Because both these guys are seniors, they both will want to play. Let's redshirt them. Uh, fullback, yeah, let's redshirt him. Wide receiver room, wow, we got a lot of wide receivers here. So senior and a senior lead the way. We got a sophomore up there. The sophomore and everyone else down here. Okay. Honestly, they're not great. I think I'll just let them all play out. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll redshirt him just to keep someone uh, around. Also, this composure bar is new, I've seen. They didn't have it back in 2004. This is also my first time playing 05, so this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve here. Tight ends, yeah, we got the senior starter. Tackles, looking okay, uh, not great depth-wise. Guards, ooh, the line is not looking too hot. Not a strong line. Centers, yeah, nothing nothing great. Uh, defensive ends, well, we got a senior there. Yeah, this team is not overly good. But that was expected. It is a two-star school, so... We got our work cut out for us. Like, is there even any point in redshirting him? He's a 52. Like, no, like, I, I want him off the team as soon as possible. Oh, wow, corner, we are weak. Free safety, nothing. Strong safety, we've got an 88 junior, but then we do have a 56 overall freshman. Kicker's a 65. Punter, good thing we have two punters. Jeez, okay. 91, nice. Okay, so we registered a few guys there. Let's go into our custom schedule. Strength of schedule is currently an A minus. Yeah, we're playing three ranked teams. We can schedule up to four non-conference games. We only have three right now. Let's go into week 14 here. Who do we want to play? Do we want to play Buffalo, the old stomping grounds? Let's throw Buffalo in into the mix here. Yes, let's keep that schedule. And now let's take the coach options and see what the report card's saying. Uh, what's our contract looking like? We have three years. We need to beat Texas, receive a bowl bed, and beat Oklahoma. Oh boy. Okay. Texas and Oklahoma, eh? Texas is ranked seven. Oklahoma is ranked number two. I don't think we'll be beating either of them this year, so this might hurt us as a coach but we'll see we'll see I don't think there's really anything else to do here so let's go into the weekly schedule only one game here oh no I want go week two all right so we're playing UAB they so overall we're a B minus all the way across the board special teams a little bit better at a B UAB is a C plus overall so hopefully we can get the job done there just remember, we need to do our strategy here. So what do we have? We have a good QB. Oh, wrong button. 
And like we have decent receivers. The run game's not going to be great though. Only a 76 senior and our offensive line sucks. Tackles are okay, but our guards are pretty weak. Actually, yeah, we should be looking at our depth charts here. Just make sure everything's lined up. Yes. Okay, so left tackle, we have an 86 starter. Guard is a 65. Yikes. Uh, these guys are all starters down here. He's not, though. He's a 68. So maybe we throw the 68 overall guard in there. Center 76, yep. Yeah. And then right guard, we have a 70 in there. And all these guys are starters, I believe, right? Yeah, okay. Tackle's okay. That 72, 68. Yeah, that's as best as we're going to get. Defensive tackles. Wait. Oh, this guy is suspended for a game, eh? What's going on here? Does it tell me why he's suspended? No, I can't find it. Okay. It's not on there. Middle linebacker. Ugh, 65. Doesn't even say that he's a starter, though, but he has to be, right? Oh, no starters at middle linebacker. What's going on here? Maybe it's whatever scheme we're, we're running. Program standards. This one's new. Uh, so the defensive tackle, yes. Yeah, so academic infraction. Okay, interesting. Discipline points left. We have 70. He has a one-game suspension. What's our action? The study hall report shows that defensive tackle is well below the necessary hour requirements. We need to make a statement to him and the rest of the team. Okay, so we can what? Season? Oh, gosh. No suspension type. We can do a quarter, a game. Oh, yeah, we can do a ton of games here. Okay, so player discipline is an A. NCAA team interest is currently a little green. So what, if we just give him a one-game suspension? There, I think I gave him the suspension, so hopefully he can figure it out there. Injury report got no one injured. Okay, perfect. And then our coach options, let's get into our strategy here. Offensive type, we're going to be balanced. Base defense is a 4-2-5, and oh, strategy, yeah, that's for the bottom. Recruiting class assistance, no and no. Let's do it all ourselves. Uh, what kind of what kind of defense should we be running here, though? Let's stick with the 4-2-5 for now. Offense, yeah, I'm fine to stick with a balanced offense. Let's go a little more pass heavy, a little aggressive. Or, mm, let's stay a little more conservative for now. Try, tr try and pocket a few wins here. Defense, yeah, that's fine. Conservative, yep, yeah, that's all good. Alright, so we have everything set up the way that we want it. Let's get into the sim here and see if we can win our first game. Baylor smacks them 49 to 23. The Bears are off to a great start. 1 and 0 to start the season, baby. Let's go. Okay, let's see what happened here. So top 25, we're nowhere near the top 25. But let's just see who's up here right now. Dreaded Miami is Miami up here. Still hate them from our last one. Heisman watch. Yeah, no one out of Baylor. Players of the week. I gotta figure out what conference we're in first here. Uh, Baylor, we're in the Big 12. Okay. So, players of the week. We want what? Big 12. There we go. Big 12. Oklahoma and Nebraska. No one from Baylor. Conference, we already looked at those. So, we're good there. Alright, so we got who? Texas State. They're not even ranked. They're not even part of this game. I think they're just one of those throw-in teams. D pluses all around. Baylor should be able to handle these guys. Yeah, 45 to 20. Well done, boys. Well done. It's so weird seeing all the player names as like QB number two, wide receiver number one. So used to that Buffalo series where we actually had names. All right, awesome. Let's get through to week four now. 
Week four, it looks like we have a buy this week. This is cool, though, how you can shuffle through all the divisions now. Oh, Big East, look at Buffalo. Buffalo's in the Big East. That's great. All right, that's cool. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this new game, um, UI, better than the 04 one, I think. Let's see. Players seem to be responding to your coaching. Keep on winning, coach. So far, so good. Uh, where was that discipline, though? Yeah, program standards. All right, good. We have no one on the list right now. Uh, injury report, no injuries. Perfect. All right, so let's sim through our bye week then. And then who do we have next week? We have North Texas. Okay, and then ooh, we're playing Texas in week six. They're down to number five at least. And then Oklahoma is still up at number two. All right, North Texas. They are two and one. We are currently 2-0. We are ranked 74th in the nation. They're ranked 77. So this should be a pretty close game. Points per game, we're top 13 right now. Total offense, 37. Total defense, 51st. What are they doing? They got a good rush offense and a good pass defense. Okay, so maybe we should change up our strategy a little bit here. Let's go a little more run heavy. And then defense-wise, it says that they... Were they running the ball more or passing the ball more? I can't remember now. North Texas, their pass offense is terrible. Their rush offense is good. Yeah, so they are going to be running the ball. Oh, wrong one. Defense, 54% run then. Okay, let's see if we can pull off a win here against North Texas. Ooh, we lost by 10. 27-17. This is cool how you get to see the stats of the game, though, at least. Total offense, yeah, it just wasn't there. Rushing yards, yeah, they had 55 rushing attempts. Passing, man, we only had 9 completions. Went 9 for 23, yikes. Passing yards, 167, had more than them, but look at those. We got sacked 5 times. Yeah, that offensive line needs to be improved. Oh, number four, Texas this week. This is not going to be pretty at all. Uh, Heisman, no, we're not going to have anyone in the Heisman talk for a while, probably. And no player of the weeks. Conference standings, how are we looking? Big 12 South, we're down in 6th overall, Big 12, 10th right now. As long as we don't get kicked out of the division, we're good. Be honest, we're not prepared for North Texas. Hey, we tried to prepare as best as we could, just they got a, they got a better team. Uh-oh, we have two guys on the program standards right now. Uh, so the first is our left outside linebacker. I don't know what these little um, arrows mean either, going up and going to the side. Tell me here. Players do not meet the standards are listed here. These players can be suspended for a set amount of quarters or games. Keeping close tabs on team discipline will result in a clean program that attracts other outstanding student athletes. Okay, so basically, and I know if we don't take any action, then the league might come against us with some sanctions in the recruiting process, which would hurt us. Uh, what is this guy doing? He's 87, 82. We really can't, uh, we can't suspend these guys, though. That's the problem, because we need them for this Texas game. What are they saying? We have a rule around here. If you don't make the grades, you don't play. He's not making the grades at this point. God damn. GPA is concerned. His tutor tells us that he has no desire to do what it takes to make the grades. I guess we can help remind him how important grades are. Okay. Um. Let's. What's our schedule looking like here? We got number four, Texas. Number 16, oh, 18. We got a lot of ranked games coming out that we need those guys for. Iowa State, maybe we can suspend them for. We'll see. Maybe maybe they turn it around. We'll we'll give them another chance. Why not? 
All right, yeah, Texas is all A's. They're ranked number four in the nation. This is going to be a tough game. So let's go back to our coach options, go to our strategy. Let's go back into more of a passing scheme that won us a few games there. This one we're going to drop down like that. As we, we got to pass the ball. If we're not moving the ball, our run game is not going to be able to succeed with our offensive line. No way. Baylor pulls away with a 28-27 victory over Texas. Holy crap, boys. I thought I thought we were done for it. We went up four. We were up 21 nothing at one point. Holy crap! Then Texas came back to tie it up. Texas then went up, and then we went. Oh man, we went for two. No, we sorry, we scored a touchdown in the last last two minutes. What a game! Holy crap! Total offense 385 yards. Passing we went 17 for 29, 240 yards. Only sacked twice. Fourth down conversion, two for two. Well done, boys. Only one turnover, two fumbles, nothing lost. Both through an interception. Wow. What a game from Baylor on re on a regional broadcast game, too. Well done, boys. All right, fresh off a huge win last week over Texas. Let's see, did that, what, what does that do to Texas? That must have dropped them hard because we were not ranked high. They are down to number 14 now. Heisman watch, nobody. Player, oh, come on. There we go, player of the week. Big 12, oh, come on. We didn't get anyone with that massive win. Come on. That helps us in the conference standings, though. That bumps us all the way up to fifth right now. 1-0 and against the conference. Very well done, boys. I want to go team info here. Injuries, we have a left tackle out and our fullbacks out right now. All right. QB, 10 touchdowns of 5 picks. Not bad. Our running back has 310 yards, 77 yards a game. Wide receiver, 7 with 88 yards per game. Pretty good. Let's see what our what our boss is saying. If you score more than the other team, you win. It's simple. No congratulations over the big win. Come on, boys. Although team goal, we beat Texas. So that's a step in the right direction. Next up is Oklahoma, who I think they're in higher than Texas. So, But that, that's at the end of the season. We'll worry about that when we get there. Right now, we need to focus on Missouri. They're 24th ranked. We're up to 65 now. There will be pluses. Their total offense is good. Top 12. Our offense is ranked 87th. Defense is 51st. Their defense is 11th. They got a good pass defense, but maybe maybe they've been playing some weaker teams. Let's see how this one goes. 41-31. We kept pace with them. It was close. Close game. We were down 31. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, we even had it tied up at the start of the fourth, and then Missouri took off with it at the end of the game. And now, oh, we got number 14, Nebraska now. USC, Oklahoma's still up there. They beat Texas as well this week. Texas on a lot of two-game skid. There's Miami, the damn Hurricanes. Texas down to 19. Yikes. They are 3-2. and 0-2 oh against their conference this year. Heisman. Yeah, no one's going to be there. Player of the week. 12. Nobody. Conference. Um, where are we? Oh, we dropped the, that. That was a conference game that we played last week against Missouri. So... We're down to 1-1 one and one now, but that's okay. There's a couple 0-3 teams, so... Are there any 1-star teams? No, there's zero 2-stars. Bottom is 2-stars, like us. Do you have any results in the results? Go study the tapes. Alright, let me go check out the tapes on that one, then. Oh, I need to check our program standards. There we go. No one on there now. It's all good. NCAA team interest. It's fairly low, which I think is a good thing. Team suspensions, 19. This one's currently at a B. Injury report. 
no way or fullback foot fracture 10 weeks um injured okay we have no other options within here that's okay All right, so Nebraska, 14. National rank, we're up to 62. Oh, I, 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 we took Missouri, that Missouri game quite well, only lost by 10, so maybe that helped us. Nebraska's got the best defense in the nation, though, ranked number one. So let's see if we can challenge that defense or if we're going to get shut down by it. Yeah, got, got shut down pretty hard there, 35 to 17. We started strong. We were up 10 zip. And then that's when it all fell apart. Alright, Baylor, we have dropped the 3-3, three and three, unfortunately. Bowl rankings, yeah, we're going to be nowhere up here. Where's Oklahoma? They lost, eh, last week? Lost to Kansas State, damn. Nebraska's up there. Yeah, they they got a good team. Uh, Heisman, nobody. Player of the weeks. Let's see your Big Twelve. Man, we can't win a Player of the Week here. No one on the program standards list. Injury report. We got our one guy back. Wide receivers out from their two weeks, and that fullback's probably done for the year. Okay, Iowa. They are 66. We're 64. Yeah, this should be a close game. They're all Bs, though. We are B minuses. So they got the slight edge overall. Their total defense is top five. Good pass defense too on them. Let's see if we can get get through them. Yeah, there we go. Baylor 42 to 17. Got to believe in the boys every now and then. Man, they we were up 28. 35 nothing at one point and then they slowly started to mount a comeback but really it was no comeback we were up 42 10 they scored one more late but Baylor runs away with that one okay four and three going up against Texas A&M this week that is going to be a tough matchup Heisman watch nobody player of the weeks nope Still can't earn, can't get a player of the week. Big 12, we're sitting six now. We're two and two, four and three on the season. Honestly, pretty good, I would say, considering what I was expecting here. I wasn't expecting to do this well so far. Uh, receive a bowl, but that's going to be tough. And Oklahoma, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat them. Program standards. Oh, the center broke the team rules. We had our practice day and center didn't show. We were able to contact him. He gave us an unacceptable excuse for his absence. Okay, we're going to suspend him for two quarters in the next game. He's got to sit out. Two quarter suspension. Can't, can't be doing that. Uh, injuries were okay there. Depth chart. So who's going to be? Oh, wrong button. Center. Who is backing up? Oh, we got the senior. He gets to come in for the first half of this game. All right. So Texas A&M, 22. Total offense is 81. We're ranked 83. Their defense is 11th, though. we our defense is 55. Baylor pulls off another win, 38-13. All right, so this offense is this offense is working. Whatever we whatever we've got going here. 24, 30, 31, 13, 38. Yeah, that fourth quarter sealed it for us. We really ran away with that one. Good game, boys. Good game. All right, we are five and three. Texas Tech is three and five. So looks like we got a chance to beat them. Hopefully. No player of the week, so. Uh, award semi-finalists. Let's see, we got anyone here from Baylor? Baylor? Uh, 
No, we don't really have any standout, it's seeming. Best punter award. Best RET. What's an RET? I wonder. Best ret? I don't I don't know. Best coach. Alright, so no one on the award lists. Uh, bowl rankings. Imagine we somehow slipped in here. Zero chance. Texas is up there at number 15, so they're probably ranked around the same down here, right? Yeah, they're 13 there. Oklahoma's dropping a little bit in the rankings, at least. They're down to 7. Okay, sweet. And then I keep forgetting we got to go down here and check our standards each week now. At least it makes me check the um, here, anyone who's hurt, injury report. Okay. Weekly schedule, Texas Tech. They're ranked 51, we're ranked 50. I, th I thought they would have been better than that. I looked at them before starting a team, but I think there were three or four star schools, so I figured they were a little too good to start with. Damn. 54 to 31. That's a lot of points we gave up in the fourth. They also got way, way ahead of us at the start of the game. Four yard fumble return. Oh, that's a crappy way to start the game. Field goal, and they got a couple touchdowns there. 71 touchdown yard pass, though. And then they got a couple, oh my god, 94 yard kick return. Out of boy. That, that, that gets the crowd going. Yeah, unfortunately, that fourth quarter, they really pulled away on us, though. All right, we got Oklahoma State here in week 12. No one there. Player of the week is probably not after that L. Yeah, no one. Uh, Big 12, we're still sitting at 5. We're 3-3 three and three against the conference on the year. Our points for and against are actually kind of decent. So, like, we got more points for, which I'm happy with. What's our boss saying, though? How, how How's our job security? Job security is a B-plus right now. Fans will whine and moan about that Texas Tech loss for at least a week or so. Yeah, I mean, obviously not ideal, but we're having a good season so far. We're 5-4. and four. Hopefully we can pick up a win this week against Oklahoma State. Program standards, no one... Injury report. Oh, we have our left tackle out with a turf toe injury. I don't think that's good either. I don't think we have much depth there. Uh, Oklahoma's, they're good. They're ranked 28th. We're up to 57, though. We're slowly climbing the standings, which is good. Let's see this one. 41-24. Good win, baby. Good win. We are on up 14, up 21-7 there. They made it close 21-17, then we come back with a touchdown, they made it close again, and then we got a couple field goals, and then a touchdown late to seal it. Well done, boys. And here's the game, Oklahoma, that we need to win as part of, as part of the contract. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. USC's up top, Tennessee's there. Wait, why does it say number three in the top left? Oh, because these are the bowl rankings, that's why. Miami's up there, good for them. Heisman watch. Uh, finalists, I doubt we're going to have anyone here. Yeah, nothing really. I wonder, what does this NCAA first in brackets mean in the top right? I don't know what any of those mean. Like, what, they're ranked first? Big Ten, like, they're the best player at their position? I have no, Or is that, like, their team ranking? I don't know. Like, USC... Oh, yeah, I guess they are ranked first in the league, aren't they? Uh, like, U UCLA says here, Pac-10 second. So if we were to go to the Pac-10... Pac-10, UCLA second. Okay, so that's just telling us where their team's ranked. That's That's kind of cool. Let's just know if they're on good teams or not. All right, I think we're good to go here. Oklahoma, ranked twelfth. Yeah, A plus is all around. This is going to be a tough team, boys. I mean, we put up twenty points on them. Almost got doubled though, so that's not ideal. Uh, I was to say we kept it close and had a seven-seven for a second, and then 
they just took off on us, 31 to seven, fourth quarter. Couldn't get enough going to get back. Is what it is. And oh, Buffalo six and five this year. Good for them. Bowl rankings. USC still number one there. Bowl projections. Are we? Pro I doubt it. We're project. Oh, we are projected for a bowl. Wow, against the number 14 ranked Gators. Damn, that would be a very tough matchup for us. But hey, if we can get a bowl bid, that would be sweet. Because we didn't beat o um, o Oklahoma, so our current contract... The goals aren't looking too hot right now. The athletic director has a lot of passion for the game of football, so he's not very happy about that loss. Yeah, O team goals now... Our, our team goals change now to beat Florida. So if we do get Florida in that bowl game, we got to beat them. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Player of the Weeks, anyone? No. Can we at least get one Player of the Week this year? That, that would be nice. All right, so Buffalo's improved compared to the last game, at least. They got a good pass offense. But we know their game. Come on, let's take them down. There it is. Tight game. 38-33. Baylor comes out on top. And it was close throughout. Oh, Buffalo did go up by 10. Oh, they went up by quite a few on us. And we got a touchdown back. Another touchdown. Another touchdown. Oh, wow. It was all us by the end of it. They scored two minutes left. Oh, two-point conversion failed. And then we shut it down. Good to see. Be beating the old squad. Alright, week 15, I believe we have a buy through this week, yeah. So let's take a look. Player of the Weeks, maybe, probably not. Yeah, nothing. Nothing there. Um, conference standings. We got a lot of ranked teams in our conference, holy crap. We're at 6, and then we got, what, Texas ranked 17, Texas A&M 19, Oklahoma's number 8. Kansas State's ranked 22nd, and Nebraska's number 5. We are in a tough conference, I would say. 5-star, 4-star, 6-star, 5-star, 6-star. And then us as a 2-star. Got, got to bump that up a little bit. You know, you love to visit with high school coaches, parents, and prospects. Let's bring them to Baylor, baby. Alright, we're already into the recruiting area here. But, hey, we might have a bowl game to go play still. Come on, boys. Program standards, no one. Injury report. Our corner, high ankle sprain. Oh, that sucks. All right, so let's sim this week. And now this is the conference championship. You can get through this week. Heisman went to the Oklahoma running back, number 20. USC had their QB and running back up there, and then Oklahoma also had their QB, so talk about domination. Congratulations, we have received a bid to play in the Houston Bowl. Let's go, taking on the Gators, who are ranked number 13. Wow. Okay. Um, that's going to be an interesting game. Points per game, they're fifth in the nation. Total offense is top seven. Their pass offense is fourth. Their total defense is kind of weak, though, 33. So hopefully we can maybe expose that, even though their pass defense is 13th, and that's our game, our passing. All right, well, only one way to find out how this goes. All right, and the day has come playing uh, Florida here. Overall, they're B plus. Defense is a little weaker, so maybe we can expose them. Let's see it. Oh no way, baby! Let's go. Baylor comes out on top, 29 to 24. Their defense did let them down. Uh, we had what a touchdown there. Then and they tied it up. Field goal, touchdown. We were down. Field goal by us to go up. And, oh no, sorry, field goal to be down by one. And then we scored 
a touchdown there, a field goal, and then, oh wow, good thing we got that touchdown early in the fourth. Conversion failed though, and then Florida couldn't get anything going after their touchdown with about five minutes left. Congratulations, boys. Baylor wins the Houston Bowl. Very well done. That's a great first season. That's much better than how our Buffalo first seasons went in, in our last series. And then who is playing in the finals? Tennessee versus USC. Wow. West Virginia got bumped out, ranked number two, but didn't make the national championship. USC runs away with it. Contract extension already. Congratulations, coach. The Bears are impressed with you and would like to extend your contract. Current goals beat Texas receivable to beat a five or six prestige team. I swear the, the goals keep changing. <laughs> That's fine though. Uh, so we started this year as a two star. We're up to a three star now already. So that was great. Let's extend that contract. Hell yeah. And no, we're not going to advance just yet to the off season. I want to take a look at the program standards yep no one's there so that's good all right so we'll, we'll wrap the video up there boys next video we'll get into our first recruiting phase here at baylor we're only going to be recruiting from in-state prospects and i'm going to allow myself to have two out-of-state prospects per session so we'll see how it goes hopefully we can continue this program as a three-star school and maybe even get a top 25 rank next year who knows Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.